And today I'm going to be talking about list building, specifically talking about growing your email list from zero. Okay, so we're talking email list today. We're talking about your email list. So who is here? Say hello. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Let me know where you're watching from. And I'm excited to talk about email lists today. Um, if you guys join me regularly, you'll know that it's one of my favorite topics. Um, so really excited to share this with you today. And you know, when you grow your email list, you can literally make money in your yoga business at any time, at any given time, so long as you've got something valuable to share with people, okay? So if you've got a valuable offer and you've been growing your email list, you can make money in your, in your business at any given time, okay? This is why your email list is so, so powerful and we all really need to take notice of this, guys. If you are just building your community on Instagram or on social, you're, you know, you're leaving money on the table, really, you really are. So imagine, you know, the peace of mind that comes with it. Imagine the peace of mind that, you know, knowing that at any time, if you've got a valuable offer, you know, the way that you have a valuable offer is that you understand what your audience needs from you. Yeah, I talk about this all the time. You can make money. And, you know, social power, social media, social media is never going to be as powerful. Yes, it has a well-deserved place in your business and in your marketing strategy, but it's never going to be as powerful as the results that you'll get from growing your email list, okay? So, you know, thinking that it's enough just to be on Facebook or it's enough to be on Instagram to have a viable and sustainable business. Like what about when, you know, Instagram and Facebook changed their algorithms like they did a few years ago, you know, and everything changed. Um, never, ever build your business on rented land. Yeah, and that's exactly what it is. You know, when you're just growing or trying to grow your audience on Instagram, let's say, you're growing it on on rented land, yeah? So you don't make the rules, you don't own that land, but when you own, when you grow your email list, you own your email list, yeah? It's yours. And so, you know, that's why it's so incredibly important to really make sure that, that you build your business on solid ground that you own, and that's your email list. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So, you know, today I really want to help you to understand that if you build that foundation, and by this I mean you set up your email service provider, you create a lead magnet, you start to share your, email, your lead magnet, you just create the foundation of your list building, okay? So it's three steps. That's three steps there. You know, set up your email service provider, create a lead magnet, and then share that lead magnet. And, you know, of course, there's lots of other things that you can do. There's lots of strategies out there, bells and whistles, um, that you can use to build your email list. And today... I'm going to share with you just one of those strategies that I want you to focus on. Yeah, just one. Okay, we're going to keep it simple. <laughs> going to keep it simple. Um, so, quite likely, you know that you need to build an email list. Yeah, am I right? Do share with me. Do we all know, everyone watching here on Instagram, you guys here on Instagram, and everyone here in the Facebook group, do you guys all know and realize that you need to build an email list? And you'll all be at different stages um, with your business, and yeah, give me a thumbs up if you are, you're on board with that fact, that you know you need to have an email list, but something's been holding you back. So just give me an emoji or a yes, 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 we've got lots of yeses coming through and thumbs up. Yep, 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 yep. So we know this, right? And if you've been tuning in to me at any point, any given point of time, you'll know that I'm always piping on about this. Yes, yes, we know it. Okay, so chances are you know that. But, you know, there's maybe something that's been holding you back. Maybe you don't know where to start. Um, maybe you think that you need to wait until you've, like, grown, you know, your followers on Instagram, let's say, or perhaps, 
you know, you think, oh God, the tech is just too intimidating. To set it all up, it's just too intimidating. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Are these the kind of things that are going through your mind? Share with me. Um, and, you know, I think not knowing where to start, not knowing where to start is a very, very common objective that I hear from teachers. And I'll tell you right now that the place to start is with an ESP, an email service provider. And this is exactly where you start. OK, so if you don't have that yet, if you don't have an email service provider set up, that is where you start. That's where we start. OK, so for those of you that, you know, have zero on your list right now and you haven't got to that point where you've, you've selected an email service provider, Hands down, that's the place to start. And an email service provider, if you're not too sure, when I say ESP and it's a bit over the head, an email service provider is basically, it's an email platform and it houses your email list, okay? It supports you with, e with your email marketing efforts, okay? It gives you tools and resources. So that's what an email service provider is. It's basically a piece of software, yeah? It allows you to put forms on your website. So those forms that you see where you can um, type in your email address, so those opt-in forms, it gives you the, the functionality to be able to do that on your website. It then collects all of the emails from people that have filled out those forms in an email list, yeah? And it allows you to be able to send broadcast emails out, so like your weekly email newsletter, let's say, and also to set up automations, okay? So things like, when I say automation, you know, when somebody joins your email list for the first time, a welcome sequence, let's say. You know, if you guys are on my email list at Digital Yoga Academy, that's what you receive. You receive a welcome email sequence. Number of emails that get sent out over a given period. So, you know, if your, um, your lead magnet is a video series, let's say it's a five part video series where you send out a, a new um, flow or meditation or whatever it might be every single day over a five day period, it's automation that allows you to do that. OK, so you set it up automatically and then when people join your list, they automatically receive those emails and this is what we want to be doing in our business we want to be automating our business as much as possible okay so is there anyone here who doesn't yet have an email service provider so by that I mean things like MailChimp so you may have heard of MailChimp MailerLite ConvertKit there are tons of different softwares out there that you can use but is there anyone here that doesn't have one share with me guys if you don't have one if you don't have one. So, um, MailerLite, uh, sorry, MailChimp has always been a very good option for yoga teachers, okay? And I, you know, in the past I've had a course on how to set up your email list with MailChimp, and it is a good option, but about a year ago, they changed it from being entirely free to having to pay for automation. So what I just told you about a moment ago. And so now if you want to have a welcome sequence or you want to have like a three part video series, you have to pay for that automation. If you want to start off free and you don't want to have to pay for your ESP to begin with, then another option, an alternative is MailerLite. OK, it's very similar to MailChimp, but it gives you the functionality it gives you the automation functionality and it's free for up to 1500 subscribers okay so it's a good place to start for you guys if you haven't done any of this yet have a look at MailerLite they have amazing videos on their website in their help and resource pages okay so there's no excuse for you know getting stuck with how to do this you simply go onto their help pages and you follow the videos no excuse Okay, no excuse. So for those of you, and there's quite a lot of you here that don't have it yet, okay, I have a challenge for you in the next 24 hours, in the next 24 hours, yeah, I want you to get this set up. I want you to get this set up, MailerLite. Um, so Olive Tree just asked, if, is it better than ConvertKit? So actually, ConvertKit is my preferred tool of choice. You do have to pay for ConvertKit. Yeah, to have automation and everything else, 
then you have to pay for it. Now, if you are wanting to have an online yoga course, let's say, in your business, yeah, MailerLite it is, MailerLite, um, if you want to have an online yoga course, then, and you want to, um, you know, take your business in that direction, ConvertKit is a really, really great um, option for you, okay? But you do have to pay for it. You can, in the beginning, just start with MailerLite, and then as you move on in your business, you know, you can, as you move on in your business, you can just export your list and import it into ConvertKit further down the line, okay? Easy peasy. Okay, MailerLite is M-A-I-L-E-R-L-I-T-E, yeah? So it's, it's light is spelled L-I-T-E. Yes, and yes, you can do it with a Wix website. Yes, exactly, you can do it with Wix. So just Google, I Googled this the other day to share some links with somebody else. Just Google Wix integration with MailerLite and it will tell you how to do it. Google is our friend, guys, it's there. Google is our friend, okay? Everything we want to know about is there for us, yeah? It's there. Okay, so don't let that hold you back. You know, if you do not have your email service provider yet, the next 24 hours, I want you guys who don't have one yet, I want you to get this set up. I want you to go and take a look at MailerLite, get it set up, Come into the Facebook group, so those of you on Instagram, come into the Facebook group and share what you've done, okay? Yeah? <laughs> are, we on, are we on board with this, guys? Are we on board? Are we on board? Please share with me. Are we going to do this? Are we going to do this? Yes, yeah, so that's the first little thing for today, okay? Um, so, you know, I think whatever it is that's holding you back, whether it's the fact that you haven't got your email service provider yet, you, you don't know where to start, you're feeling like the tech is too intimidating, all of these things, or you think you have to grow your, your social media following, whatever is holding you back, whatever is holding you back, you must grow your email list. There is a direct correlation between the growth of your email list and the growth of your bank account. <laughs> telling you right now okay so do not delay do not in six months time be looking back and thinking oh I wish I'd started growing my email list six months ago when I was on that Instagram live that Facebook live with Kelly and she was you know giving me that tough love that I need to get my email list up and running please 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 make a promise to yourself that you're going to do this okay it's part of your business it's part of how you grow it's part of your business, building your online business. It becomes so much easier when you actually have a viable email list, okay? Notice that I didn't say a big email list. You don't have to have a big email list to be successful. You do not have to have a big email list, but you do need to have an email list. Okay, so next question for you guys. Next question. For those of you who do have an email list, how many people, how many subscribers, how many people are on your email list? Yeah, okay, you're going to share with me your magic number. And it really, there's no judgment here, right? There's no judgment. So share with me your magic number of how many people you have on your email list. Okay, and remember, remember for those of you um, who have zero, we just have those three steps, don't we? We have get up, get your email service provider up and running. Create your lead magnet, your opt-in freebie. I've done trainings on this before, so just hop over to the Facebook Digital Yoga Academy Facebook page and go to videos or go onto the YouTube channel and there are definitely videos and trainings that I've done on how to create an opt-in freebie, okay? And then share that freebie. There are the three steps to go from zero. Let's have a look, what have we got? 26, Jacqueline, Misty254. Me, uh, Megan has got 600, Kate's got 289, amazing, what else have we got here, 80-ish Yoga Connection, yeah, Emma Yoga Tribe said, do people actually read emails, I have maybe 122 but not many open and take action, you know what, like I said, right at the very, very beginning, 
like I said, right at the very, very beginning, your email list, you will get more results from your email list than you will from your Instagram, yeah? So if you're spending most of your time every week making your Instagram look pretty, you're leaving money on the table. Your job as, a, as an entrepreneur is to get good at email marketing, yeah? So the journey starts now. We need to understand how are we creating content that's gonna ensure that people are gonna to want to open up and receive our emails. And it might be, up until now, that, you know, perhaps, I'm talking to you, Emma, now, but anyone else as well who has people on their email list and they're like, this doesn't feel like it's working. You know, do we need to just take a few steps back? Is the freebie the right freebie? Do we have a welcome email sequence that's going to encourage that interaction open activity right from the very beginning of the relationship? Are we showing up on a regular basis, like consistently? Because if we show up once a month, they've forgotten who we are already and they're not going to open the email. Okay, so we need to be consistent with our efforts and we need to be showing up on a weekly basis with really valuable content that's going to help people on their journey. We don't want to be showing up just saying, book my class, book my retreat, book my workshop. You know, we need to be showing up in a really valuable way to encourage people to share that, co that conversation that we're starting with them, that relationship that we're building with them. Okay, so... You know, I really encourage you if you're thinking, oh, no, I don't open emails or, you know, people aren't going to open my email to really just shift your mindset on that and just perhaps take a step back, look at the approach and look at how we, we can improve our own email marketing knowledge um, to just really ensure that we're showing up in the right way in people's inbox. OK, so I hope that helps. I hope that helps. So I do hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. And, you know, I think it's natural because you're always going to think about your own behavior as well. And I think, you know, I've definitely got emails, uh, email newsletters that I'm subscribed to that, you know, that I might go months without opening an email, but then there might be something that comes in just at the right time, right? So we have to keep going, but just please know that your return on investment, your energy that you put into your email marketing is going to be worth it every time and email over social every time, hands down, every time, hands down. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so where are we? Where are we? So, ah, <laughs> you guys were sharing with me how many people you've got on your list. So that's good. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. So as we said, get your email service providers set up and running, create your irresistible lead magnet, whether it's a video series, some kind of audio meditations, whatever it is, and then start sharing. So this is another point, actually, step three out of those three steps. A lot of teachers, I find, you know, they set up their freebie and then that's it. And they're like, no one's joining my list. But the question you need to ask yourself is, are you consistently sharing the freebie? Are you consistently sharing it? Are we consistently sharing the freebie? Yeah, so by that, I mean, you know, do you, are you linking to it in your bios? Yeah, do you talk about it every time you do a Facebook Live? When you go onto Instagram sh stories, are you sharing your freebie every single week? Like, are you talking about it constantly and being everywhere with it? Because people, you know, even though they might follow you on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever, they're not gonna see every message that you put out there. So you need to be really consistent and you need to be talking about it everywhere and sharing it everywhere. And it might feel like a broken record to you, but actually it takes a number of times for people to hear a message before they take action. So do not be afraid to sound like a broken record. It is A-OK, -okay, okay? If you're sounding like a broken record, you're actually doing it right. <laughs> you are, trust me. You are, trust me, okay? So... Okay, so they are the three steps. I'm not going to talk any more about that. You guys need to get down with that one. Okay, but I just want you to really understand that if you build that foundation, yeah, you build that foundation, the email service provider, the lead magnet and sharing it, you're creating a foundation for list building. Yeah, so Whatever strategy you use to grow your list, to get more people on your list, every strategy is going to require that you have a lead magnet, yeah? So that's step number two. 
Okay, you need your lead magnet, your opt-in freebie. And as I said, I've done trainings on this, so go and check them out. Um, if you're thinking, oh, what am I going to do it about? What am I? What's my freebie going to be? <laughs> um, so there's lots of strategies, lots of strategies that you know I could share with you about list building, but I just want to focus on one today. And this particular strategy is about you connecting with your ideal student. Okay, um, so specifically and there's going to be some objections here i know it when i say this some of you are going to be like what i don't want to do that <laughs> that's not going to work um specifically i want you to find your ideal student on facebook yeah i want you to find your ideal student on facebook i'm not going to overwhelm you with lots of strategies today i'm going to give you one and i, I want to challenge you to do this i want to challenge you to do this for the next 30 days. Okay, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But I really want you to make an effort to get to know your ideal student even more. Okay, so really push yourself here because eventually you're going to offer them support, yeah, in the form of your lead magnet, which is going to help you to grow your email list. Okay, so some of you might be thinking, hang on a minute. My ideal students, they do not spend time on Facebook. Is anyone thinking that? They're not on Facebook. You know, maybe you're thinking, oh, no, they spend all their time on Instagram or wherever it might be. And actually, I just want to give you a bet here. Let's have a bet. Let's have a bet. I'm going to bet you that they are spending time on Facebook. I bet that they're spending time on Facebook and specifically they are spending time in Facebook groups. Okay, so I just want to encourage you to be open minded here. Be open minded because Facebook groups are a really fantastic way for you to find your ideal student because people are genuinely using Facebook groups for everything these days. They really are. Yeah, whether they've got questions about, I don't know, parenting or um books or whatever it might be though or some kind of new hobby whatever it is that they're getting into there are facebook groups to support literally everything okay so have a think about some of the facebook groups that you're in is everyone here in at least one facebook group share with me guys is everyone here in at least one facebook group because honestly, I really believe, I really, really believe, hang on a sec, let's have a look at the comments here, that your audience is spending time in Facebook groups. Yeah? I honestly, honestly believe it. Okay? They might be spending time on other places online as well. Um, but think about it. Yeah, you guys are saying yes, 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 exactly. Think about it. You guys are probably um members of at least you know two or three facebook groups that you're in at least once a week yeah and like i know i am you know and i spend time on instagram as well but when i go to facebook for my business or for me i don't spend time really in the news feed or i'm not on other people's pages i'm in the groups that interest me okay and i think that this is a very normal behavior for most people that spend time on facebook okay so with this strategy it really requires you to spend a little time just doing some research and interaction on facebook first so that you can find the best ways to connect with your ideal students. And trust me, it will be worth your time. It's gonna be worth your time. This is definitely how I spent um, the first, you know, bulk of time in my business building up my business. Definitely, Facebook groups were integral, were pivotal to the growth of my business and the growth of my email list in the beginning, in the early days. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about your ideal student first of all. And by doing that, I want you to think about keywords, okay? Can you guys all, you know, define your ideal student and, and think about some keywords that um, relate to your ideal student? Give me a yay or nay. So this is about understanding who your ideal student is, what your niche is. If you have a clear understanding of these things, then it's easier for you to do this strategy. And if you don't, then you do need to do the inner work around your ideal student and understanding what your niche is first. And again, if you haven't done that, 
head to the archive of my trainings because I've talked about you know how to find your ideal student, how to really define um, your niche. I've talked about these things many times. I talk about them all the time. Yeah, so there's definitely training and support to help you with that, and it's really a first step. You know, with anything in your business, whatever strategy you're going to adopt in your business to grow, you need to know who you're marketing to. That is always the first step. Always, 100%. Okay, so lots of you are saying yes, you understand who your ideal student So that's great. Yep, yep, yep. So you want to think about the, the keywords that go with your ideal student. And so when you have those keywords, you're going to search them, you're going to type them into Facebook, into the um, search bar. And once the results come up, it's going to show you groups, okay? So you literally need to do a little bit of research here. You need to spend some time looking over those groups, exploring them, you know, so you can get a good idea as to, you know, are they a good place to connect with the types of students that you want to have on your email list, yeah? Um, so just, you know, have a look at the description of the group. Get an idea of what the group is about, you know, who it's for how it relates to your business and your offerings. And, and I'm not talking about yoga groups here. They don't have to be yoga groups. Like if you are, um, you know, uh, like a pregnancy yoga teacher, let's say, there's going to be tons of groups out there for uh, pregnant ladies. Yeah, there's going to be tons of groups out there that aren't yoga specific groups, but that are that are other support and network groups for women who are pregnant, okay, that you could offer support inside, yeah? So just really think outside of the box here, guys. It doesn't have to be yoga-specific groups. It's other groups where your ideal student, your niche, is also hanging out, okay? So just have a real think here. And, and also, when you find the groups, do make the effort to go inside the group and just look at the most you know, recent up-to-date posts, because there's a lot of groups out there that have just been sitting on Facebook, like untouched for years. So just make sure that there's some current activity there. And also pay attention to the level of engagement. You know, are people liking and um, commenting on posts? Are people resonating with posts? Yeah, is there a he healthy level of participation inside the group that's going to be worth your time? Yeah, are we on board with this? <laughs> cool, well done, everybody. And for those of you just joining on the Instagram, we are talking about list building. I'm sharing this one strategy to, with you guys today. So, again, you know, just go into the group, look for your ideal student, read some of the posts and comments. Like, do you see anyone there that have um, the same kind of struggles and desires or needs that your ideal student has? And if you do, then you've, fact, you've hit the jackpot, haven't you? You found a promising group that you can join, okay? So what I want you to do here is to see if you can find three to five groups. Okay, no more than five. And then, and write this down, write this down. So you want to five, find three to five groups. And then I want you to commit to scheduling just 30 minutes at least once a week. Yeah, 30 minutes at least once a week to go in and interact in these groups. Now, if you do it more times than that, then, you know, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. You're going to be having more conversations. But at the very minimum, at least 30 minutes once a week. Are we down with this? Does this seem like something that we can do? I think it is, right? I think it is. And I want you to commit to doing this for the next 30 days, for the next month. So for the next month, you guys are going to commit to commenting, interacting for at least 30 minutes once a week inside three to five Facebook groups. It's easy peasy, guys. We can all do this. We can all do this. And what's the alternative? The alternative is not doing it. <laughs> That's the alternative, isn't it? Is not doing it. So I think we can do this one. We can definitely, definitely do this one. If you do it, I want you to just really pay attention to what's happening. Pay attention because you want to spend, you know, you want to be, you, you regardless of growing your email list, you want to be spending time connecting with your ideal students so you can get to know them more. Yeah, it's so important to understand who you're marketing to. 
you know, what, who you are marketing to. And you want to spend a little time in each group, just, just noticing and answering questions, okay? So noticing the conversations that are happening. And you'll see conversations and you, and you will click. You'll be like, huh, I can contribute to this conversation. You know, there's, my freebie can actually help this person. You'll see it. You'll see those conversations. But don't go straight in there with your freebie. You want to really just be answering questions, offering value. And as you start to offer that value, you'll start to identify people who could use your lead magnet, who could use your freebie. And the great thing that happens here is that you, that you start to genuinely show up, yeah, just to offer value. And you know, as you do that, people will want to check you out as well. People will start to check you out. So they'll click on your name, they'll go to your profile, you know, and hopefully you're gonna have some information there on your profile as well about your business and what you offer. And you know, have the have the link to your website, have the link to your lead magnet and what you're all about, all of this stuff. Um, so just know that when you're helpful inside the groups, that's the kind of organic response or activity that's going to happen yeah and eventually over time you know you can you can start to connect more with people yeah as you start to build those relationships in these specific groups and you will start to share your freebie you know and if it's appropriate you can start to connect with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis okay so you know always make sure that the group allows this type of um uh, activity you know and if you're in kind of general support groups then you'll be fine it'll be all good but you'll do that as part of your research um, into the groups that you can join as well okay does that make sense does that make sense guys so um, always read the rules yeah always read the rules of the group um, but what's important really is that you don't rush this because if you're going to be showing up regularly inside three to five groups we're not going crazy here I'm just going to focus on a few groups if you're really showing up on a consistent basis, you don't need to rush sharing the links to your, your, you know, your freebies. You don't want this to look spammy. You want to be going in there with the intention and the mindset that you're genuinely helping people. And these people are your ideal clients. They're your ideal students. Yeah, They might be people that eventually they're going to come onto your email list. They're eventually going to become one-to-one -one clients or maybe there'll be students that will come into an online course or program or membership or whatever it might be. So you always need to be thinking about the end goal as well. You know, what is your end goal? Like, what does it look like a year from now? Are you going to have an online course where you want to have students inside that online course? Well, you need to be doing this front loading activity now. Yeah, everything that you're doing in your business is always towards an end goal. So nothing is ever wasted. You know, sometimes this type of activity you can feel like what am I doing this for but there's always a good reason for it if you have a vision and you're really connected to your purpose and you know what your goals are in your business and the offerings that you want to offer that's why you're doing this yeah we want to be creating meaningful relationships with our ideal students and this is a great way to do that guys so please do not discount it please 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 do not discount it um, so just make sure that you're providing lots of value and you're really kind of showing up in those conversations that are being ha had and you know just be sure to really use the groups in a, in a valuable way you know you're helping someone to solve some kind of problem that they that they have yeah so okay <laughs> we're not just posting links yeah we have to have context here okay so you never just do that. Don't just go into a group and post a link. But I think, you know, really see this as, well, this strategy is kind of twofold, isn't it? Number one, you're, you're going to be in the comments. So you're going to be in there creating relationships. And you're learning more about your ideal students. You're learning more about your ideal students. And you know, that's going to help you to be become a better marketer, a better business owner, a better yoga teacher. You know, you're going to be able to create more valuable offerings for your people when you better understand them and what they need from you. So this is a really great way to do research. You know, not only are we building our email list, 
but we're researching and we're, we're better understanding and we're gaining more insight about the struggles that our students, that our ideal clients are having. Yeah, it's important. It's really, really important. So has anyone done this before? Has anyone done this? Because you've probably heard this about this strategy, right? But have you actually done it? Like, have you spent a good 30 days where you're jumping into groups and you're paying attention and you're offering value and you're just there to support people? Have you actually done it? And if you have, I'm sure you will have seen some results for it. And maybe now you're ready for, you know, new strategies to start building your email list. <laughs> uh, but like I said, you know, this particular strategy of getting into Facebook groups and really supporting people, supporting your ideal students, you know, this is a strategy that really helped me immensely, you know, to put myself on the map and the go-to source, you know, because I kept showing up, kept showing up, I kept offering support to my ideal students. Do not skip this step, guys. Don't skip it. It's a, it's a simple one, and it's one that I really challenge you to add to your to your you working on your business, right? You work your your time each week where you work on your business, i.e., you're not teaching. I want you to add this 30 minutes a week. That's all it needs to be. At least 30 minutes a week in three to five groups. If you can do more than 30 minutes, you're gonna see better results, I promise you. <laughs> okay, guys, so any questions for me before I finish up today? Any questions? And like I said, the growth of your email list, it directly correlates to the growth of your bank account, okay? This is about you really showing up now as a business owner, as a yoga business owner, Okay, and creating and building a sustainable business so that we can keep teaching. Every single one of you, you know, you, you're here because you, you want to teach and you want to share yoga. And we want to be able to do that for the foreseeable, don't we? We want to be able to continue teaching and sharing our message. And in order to do that, we need to find a way to sustain ourselves. Yeah, we need to find a way to build a sustainable business. Okay, so please get on board with growing your email list. If all of your time and energy right now is spent on you know, making your Instagram feed look pretty, we need to shift, shift our mindset on that and get, get on board with this. So the three steps I shared right at the beginning, if you are stuck and you don't know where to start and you're at zero, there's three steps. Get, set up your email service provider. We talked about MailerLite and I gave you a challenge to do that in the next 20, 24 hours, okay? Come into the Facebook group and share that you've done that with us so that we can give you a high five and a, and a little win there, okay? Step number two is to grow your, sorry, step number two is to create a lead magnet, an opt-in freebie. It's something that you give to someone in exchange for their email address. If you don't know how to do that, Go to my YouTube channel, Digital Yoga Academy, or the Digital Yoga Academy Facebook page. Go to the videos there. There's, there's tons. I've got maybe three or four videos around lead magnets and creating the best lead magnet and the steps to take, okay? And then step three, which is something that a lot of teachers miss once they've created their e their lead magnet is to share it consistently. You want to feel like a broken record, okay? Because people don't see every message that you put out there, okay? They're the three steps, they're the three steps. And then once you've done that, you want to focus on this one strategy that I've shared with you guys today, and that's to get into Facebook groups. Start mingling with your, your ideal student, okay? You're gonna pick between three to five Facebook groups and you're gonna show up at least 30 minutes a week for the next month. And then again, that's your challenge, that's challenge number two, come and report back, okay? Please share your results. Come into the Digital Yoga Academy Facebook group, share your results, okay? Are we on board with all of this, guys? <laughs> well done, well done for sticking with me today. Well done. So let's have a look. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Anyone got any questions for me, guys? Ah. 
Let's have a look. Gloria, I've seen people changing their personal profile name to include their business name. I'm considering that too. Is this your Facebook? Your Facebook profile? Kate says, no questions. I just wake up every day excited and ready for September. Yeah, so Kate is join has joined us inside um, the Profitable Yoga Teacher Program, where I'll be sharing tons more strategies to grow your email list. Tons more. Amazing, amazing. Well done, everybody. Uh, what do you mean groups? So Facebook groups, like the one that you're in now, the Facebook group that you're in now. But for your students, you need to find your ideal students. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So Renee, I don't know if you caught, I did talk about that. She says, how do you find your ideal students in the group they're in? There's some research that you need to do and you need to use keywords. So you need to understand your ideal student and your niche. I talked about that. I don't know when you um, joined the training, but I have talked about that in today's training. So maybe go back on the replay. But again, this starts with you understanding, with you understanding um, your ideal student. Yeah, not your group, other people's groups. Yes, exactly, that's it. Amazing, well done everybody. You guys are fabulous. You guys are fab, amazing. So I'm actually doing another training today, 6 p.m. Um, in, in partnership with, um, it with, in partnership with Be Yogi. And it's the guide to creating your online yoga course. I know lots of you have been on these trainings with me recently. Uh, but I will be doing another one. It's a webinar and you do need to sign up. It's been hosted by B Yogi. Um, the link is in the bio on Instagram or if you guys are in the Facebook group, um, I've pinned it to the top of the page. So that's in a couple of hours. And yeah, good. Jenny, yes, we always need, how else can we grow off our email list without a freebie? She says, do you always need an opt-in freebie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Cool. Amazing. Well done. Everybody's amazing. You guys are fabulous. Amazing, guys. Okay, so to stay in the loop with stuff that I'm doing, make sure you're on my email list. <laughs> go to digitalyogaacademy.com uh, or go to the link in the bio. There'll be an opt-in there. There's a six-part video series that you guys can join, can sign up for um, on teaching online. And yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you for now, but I'll be back again next week. Um, if I don't see you later today in the webinar. Okay, sending you guys lots of love. Take care. Bye.